this video, I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti a la bongole. Coming up. What is up my simple cooks, it's John here. On this channel we upload simple recipes and cooking techniques to help you get more confident in the kitchen. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing down below. Anyways, spaghetti alla vongole. Vongole means clams in Italian, so let's talk about the ingredients. First up, clams. It's always best to use fresh clams that haven't been cooked yet. I checked about four different supermarkets and could not find any fresh clams to save my life. So best alternative, use some frozen clams. Just remember to defrost it and drain out all the water so there's no liquid left. So clams are out of the way. Next ingredients we're gonna have, garlic. So we've got three cloves of garlic, some chili flakes, parsley, very important, dried spaghetti and some white wine. Anyways, let's get into the cooking. So first step, finally slice the garlic. Usually I would finely dice the garlic, but this time we want the garlic to be in nice thin slices so we can toast it and flavor the oil. Next, finally dice a handful of fresh parsley. This will add a fresh punch to the pasta at the end. Bring a pot of water up to a rolling boil and cook your spaghetti according to packet instructions. Heat up your pan over medium heat and add about three tablespoons of olive oil and the garlic. We want to gradually bring the garlic up to temperature and allow them to toast in that olive oil. Once the oil is starting to bubble away, add half a teaspoon of chili flakes. The garlic and chili combo is going to give this pasta dish so much flavor. Now, if you're using fresh clams, you'll need to add the clams early on with the white wine to give them six to seven minutes to cook and open up. But if you're using frozen clams that have already been cooked, just keep toasting your garlic on a low heat so they don't burn and add your clams when there's about three minutes left before your pasta finishes cooking. Add a dash of white wine and turn up the heat to a medium high to cook out the alcohol. Now it sounds a bit out there, but I like to add a bit of fish sauce because I find it really brings out that seafood flavor in the pasta. Once the pasta is cooked, drag it directly into the pan and give it a good stir. Add in the fresh parsley and give the pasta a few tosses if you're brave enough. Season with a little salt and we're ready to serve this bad boy up. Garnish with some fresh parsley and a few chili flakes and place those flavoursome clams on top. Gorgeous. And that, my friends, is spaghetti alla bongole. Super easy pasta recipe. Try this out, guys. Now, let's recap a few tips from this video. If you're using fresh clams, make sure to put it in with your garlic and olive oil at the beginning of the recipe. If you're using frozen clams that are already cooked, just put them in at the end when there's about two to three minutes before your spaghetti finishes cooking. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment down below letting us know what other recipes you'd like to see on this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Also, if you want to see the next episode, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell button to get notified of our weekly videos. On this channel, we upload simple recipes and cooking techniques to help you get more confident in the kitchen. Anyways, I'm out. Mukbang time. All right, guys, Jason's being replaced today by another Jason who's going to be guest starring on our show. All right, tell me what you think. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you gotta teach me so I can cook food for my girlfriend. Mm, what do you like about this recipe? It's really good balance. Mm. It's very simple but very tasty yeah. at the same time. Mmm. Mm. Alright, let's sign off. See you in general. How's the food? Food is delicious. Alright, let's sign off. Okay. Three, two, one. You can do this. Three, two, one.